So I'm pretty sure we all remember the Crusaders. All right, we all remember them. We all remember Voco, the robot. We have. We also remember Krong, the big guy. We also remember Buddy, uh, the guy. And we also remember Amy. And we all know that this showcase has been building up for a very long time. And that it's actually been a minute since I've actually shown off any fantasy characters. Well, too bad. It's not about these guys. It's actually about someone else. So, you know, f ditch them. You know, who cares for them anymore? It's actually about some completely new characters. A new group. New everything. Even better. New world. Because the original one kind of sucked. Because it was just a, a semi-futuristic world that... Similar to Nexo Knights, I don't know. I didn't like it, so I decided to change it. I decided to go for a pure fantasy-like world where there are no robots or anything like that. So let's get into it. All right. So starting off with the very first character, we have my character, and yeah, he's just a character by this point. Because I, I, I don't know. I don't see him as me. I guess I don't know. But yeah, here he is. He does come with a resin casted helmet. That, of course, being, like, you know, the helmet that you've been seeing in all the showcase, like, all the beginning of the showcases. But he also does come with his shield, a little sculpted shield about the red dragon. Yeah, I can make a whole video talking about the lore of this, you know, whole universe, because I'd rather not do it here it's too much. But he has a sword. Yeah. Uh, yeah, he does have a resin casted helmet, of course, the one you've been seeing everywhere. And he does actually have a posable head. Boom, look at that. From a bootleg figure. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't know, okay? I, I like the way it looks, because it, you know, kind of gives him a little bit more range of uh, emotions, I guess. But, yeah. He does come with a cape that also has the red dragon on it. And I'm not even going to, dis like, just disassemble this whole guy, because he is... I don't really want to reassemble him, because it's just annoying. This is, like, my fifth time re-recording this shit. So, yeah. Uh, this is what he looks like without all the armor and all that. So, yeah, you can see, like, that dragon emblem... And, of course, the back, you can also see, like, the back detail and just all that armor on the back. Actually, this is my second torso I've made of this guy. So, boom, look at that. He's the original one. But he also does come with an alternate arm where it looks like this. It's actually based off the renders, which this story is different from, like, the render story. Because the renders are just kind of, like, a story I was just telling randomly. It's not, like, meant to be taken seriously, I guess. But, yeah. That's what he looks like with the red arm and all that. But he does actually have an alternate head. This is actually from a hiccup in like one of the re uh, one of the mess up helmets, I guess. So you know this helmet did not turn out all that good. So I just decided to make it all damaged. So yeah, I completely just cut off this part and I kind of dremeled it away and kind of made it look look a little bit more damaged. Cause I kind of like to imagine this is like just a battle damage helmet. It could be for like anything, like a fight with his dad or something like that. Which if you remember, his dad is uh, Tolgoff. So yeah. I kept some of the characters from the original showcase, so you'll see them later. But he does also have a scarred eye where he has a little bit of a white eye, so he can't really see out of that eye. And just a whole bunch of like damage on his helmet. I used a chrome pen for a little bit of some of the outlines, and then I just dry brushed it all in a black. So yeah, I like where that looks. And moving on to the next character, we have Chuck, who is my character's best friend in this world. Boom, he's a gnome. He's very short. He's very short. I initially wanted to make him a dwarf, but then I realized that I wanted him to be short, short, like really tiny. But then I realized dwarfs aren't really all that tiny. So I just decided to make him a gnome. So yeah. And this whole like uh, gnome kind of appearance is kind of based off of the Vox Machina one. Like just where characters like Scanlan are just really, like real short. I'm pretty sure a majority of you probably don't know what that is, but yeah, just look it up. It's on Amazon. He does come with two of these little axes right here. I like the way they look and I think they look good on him. I'm not going to put them in his hands because I don't want to keep constantly taking weapons out of people's hands. That's just annoying. But he does have the Seinfeld hairpiece in a dark brown with a little bit of a chestnut highlight. He does have this head. I forget who it's from. I don't remember. It's just kind of like a normal generic head that I kind of have in this tan color. But he does have an alternate face where he is kind of uh, a little, little bit more like confused on something. Like he doesn't know what to think or something like that, I guess. I don't know. I just find it funny. But taking off the torso armor and all that, he does have a very short torso where it looks like this. Look at that. It's actually shorter than the original torso that I originally used, where it looks like this. But yeah. This whole, like, there are three characters that are inspired by, um, CME, or is it CM, 
or I forget his name, but it's it, it, I'll just put a picture of what he looks like. This is him. <laughs> He's just a webtoon artist that I follow on Instagram, and three of the characters are inspired by his characters. Just kind of like he actually kind of inspired like this whole new group setup because I did not like the original Crusaders. I'm not even gonna lie to you. But he inspired the redesign of my character, inspired Chuck, and he inspired Orga. You'll see her in a minute. But yeah, this whole torso has been resin casted, so I just, I can use this for anyone I want. But yeah, he's like a short, short torso. I like the way this looks. Moving on, we have Zill. You might recognize her from the renders, because she looks like this. I'm pretty sure this cape is from Elsa? I don't remember. From Frozen character, I know that for sure. Maybe. I don't know. But the hair piece is Sylvie's hair from the Marvel CMF series that I, of course, sculpted the horns onto. And it's meant to be like a little bit of a tiara. And just kind of to show what she looks like without it, here's this hair piece. It's the Lloyd hair piece. It's kind of painted up to look like the original. <laughs> Sorry, my nose is a little bit stuffy. <laughs> but yeah, this is actually kind of based off of renders because that because the Sylvie hair piece does not actually exist in Mecha Bricks, so I had to do a little bit of an alternate hair piece. She does have the Nia head. The blue Nia head. I don't remember which version of Nia. I think it's like NRG Nia or something like that. I don't remember. But yeah. She does have all these robes on her and all that. Kind of go all the way to the back. Looks very nice. The arms are from like a... It's from like a CMF dude. I forget who. He had like a husky with him. I don't remember. But the boots are just painted on to like these little sand blue torso... Not torso. Legs and all that. And of course she does have a curved torso. Because all the female characters in the showcase will have a curved torso if they are full customs. A lot of these characters are not full customs. A lot of them are just kind of like placeholders, like just world fillers, I guess. And some of them just don't have names. So yeah. Here is a new character. Not really new because you've actually seen him in the uh, second showcase of Knights. This one. And you actually might recognize her because she looked like this originally. And actually, th it's kind of funny because a lot of these characters started off as like purest figures and then... Moved on to like full customs. Like, I think it was like Chuck, my character, Zill, and Gwen. Because this is actually Gwen. She is a elf. And this is what she looks like without the cape. And then without the satchel. Sam kept his head for the front. And all that. But she does have these little runes kind of on the side of her. Right here. A little bit meant to be little elf runes. And she also does have one on the back of her arrow holder thing. I don't know what it's called. Oh yeah, I forgot to show off. Uh, Zill does have this little staff. I had to paint out the gold parts. But yeah. Here's Gwen without the hair piece. Not the hair piece. The hood. Where she does have just a normal hair piece. I think it's from Nova. From the friend sets. Where she does have these little ears. Kind of sculpted on. And she does have this head. <coughs> this head piece from. I think it was from Miney. From one of the CMFs of Harry Potter. I don't remember. But I did actually paint the eyebrows black. Not black. Brown. Like a dark brown. And I got rid of the freck uh, freckles. God I cannot speak today. Oh my god. Gwen does come with a bow and arrow and a little knife. <laughs> I don't know. Then we got Orga. You actually might recognize her if you watched Russ's video, where he actually did a drawing of her, which I really appreciate. He did a lot. He did a lot of drawings of my characters, and I expect him to make more. Russ, do it. Anyways, so this headpiece is actually fully painted. It is actually from like a base of I think it was one of the original orc figures from Ninjago. But I used that as a base, kind of gave it a little bit some cheekbones, a little bit some scars, all over her body, even on her legs, but you can't really see them on the legs. She does have this fuzzy cape that I can simply just lift up and show you the back. So yeah, shoulder armor pieces are actually from a Ninjago character. Just I just cut them off and I glued them onto the arms. He of course is extended arms and legs and all that. And I did try to make it a little bit thinner than a majority of them because they like, hold on, here's the alternate face by the way. But if you know, like, my extended torsos, you'll know that they, um, they like, appear a little bit more bulky. So I tried to make it a little bit more thin to kind of give it, like, that female curve that you see on, like, you know, female characters. So, yeah. I try to make it a little bit more fitting. Oh, God, I need to breathe. So, uh, I did a little bit of some chestnut highlighting as well. Kind of make a little pop a little bit better. She has armor on one side of her leg and one side of her arm. Because maybe she couldn't afford the rest. Who knows? She is an orc. I don't know. Maybe she just doesn't have a lot of money. I, I don't know. Also, I like how I've established, like, everyone else's races. Like, my character's human. Gwen is an elf. Chuck is a gnome. And then the Zill. I don't know what she is. She's just a blue. 
I don't know what I would really even call her species. But Orga is just an orc, clearly, because the name Orga, pretty obvious. But she does come like this little mace thing, along with this club. I don't know which one to give her, so I just kind of gave her both. But yeah, not much else to really say about this figure. I really like the way she turned out. Next up, we have a character that has actually been along, not been along, been around far longer than my character actually has. He has been around longer than the, you know, the red sig fig, you know, the red helmet. And you might remember from the very first video on my channel, this is what he looks like. Yeah. Let's see what he looks like now. By God, he looks far better. Oh my God. He is Hellspawn, and he is a demon. Yeah, a little demon demon. He's meant to be like this immortal guy who can't really be hurt by normal weapons. So you have to like get special weapons and he can live forever. It's like over a thousand years old by this point. Again, I can explain like the whole lore in a separate video if you guys really want that. He does come with two of these little swords. Just, you know, big ones. And he does have claws very similar to Carnage. And that's mainly because I wanted to give him very long fingers. I don't know. He also does have these little spikes similar to Carnage. And that's because I like the way they look, so I kind of brought them here. Changed them up a little bit so they don't have all the veins. The head is actually a resin casted head. And I like <coughs> I like the way it looks. Very different face. Also has a scarred eye. I don't know why, but with me, I don't know why. I have a problem with just scarring or like messing up someone's right eye. I don't know why. Happened with my character. Happened with Hellspawn. And is going to happen with Melon. It's weird. You'll see in a minute. And my dog's getting up. Anyways. But yeah, I did resin cast his head. So he does have a neutral head. Uh, by the way, this is a red hood head. Just kind of like a base head. Just hold it. Hold the, you know, normal head. So he does have this neutral head where he's a little bit more disappointed looking. Or it's just like not amused. So yeah, I like the way it looks. The armor is actually very nice. Of course, extended arms and legs. And I did kind of bulk him out a little bit. Kind of make him a little bit more bulky. But not to where he's like massive. To where he's just like lean, I guess. Something similar to this Venom uh, Marvel Legends figure, I guess. I don't know. I like the way he looks. His feet are kind of meant to look like this. A little Hero Factory uh, piece. or I think it was Bionicle. I think it's a Bionicle piece, but I don't know. But I couldn't really do that. Because I did actually have to shorten the two middle toes. Just so they can fit over studs. Because I do still want him to like be able to stand properly, of course. But yeah, I like the way he looks. Looks very nice. Oh, God, he fell. And he does have an alternate head. Just an alternate helmet. Boom, look at that. He has his horns kind of sticking out a little bit. And he just has like a helmet kind of going over with a nice little visor. I like the way that looks. He's meant to be part of like a whole species of Hellspawn. And he's meant to be like the last of his kind. But yeah, it's like a whole lore thing. So I can explain that later. All right, so. Uh, there, there's a reason for why there was a cut, because he's going to be, like, different little segments, I guess. This is going to be an enemy group to the, I guess, the knightly ones. I don't know. I just kind of call them the knightly ones, even though they don't really act all knightly. But, yeah. That's a that's an actual word, by the way. Knightly is apparently a word. I, didn't, I don't know. But this is meant to be an opposite group, kind of, like, meant to be the, the direct opposites, like, their evil counterparts, I guess. I don't know. But here we got Nervala. Nervala is meant to be, like, this... Uh, opposite to Zill because she was like a mentor to Zill at some point but then Zill was like no you evil and I, no, I don't know changed or something like that there's a whole story lined up for all these guys I, like I said I, I could probably expand on this later but she does come with like these little books little spell books I guess but she does come with a plague doctor mask from brick warriors with a head from I think a Harry Potter character I'm not entirely sure where this head came from but it looks like this she does come with like these little handcuff gauntlet things that I just clipped off from handcuffs. She does come with a belt. And her torso and legs are from a Star Wars character. I don't remember who. And uh, characters like Nervala were actually just made off a of whim. I didn't plan on making like an opposite group or something like that. It's the whole thing. I just kind of make some characters like, because why not? Just for a little bit of fun. But then I kind of like develop them into actual characters. Next up, we have the opposite to my character. Uh, pretty sure it's obvious. Derek. Uh, yeah, his name is Derek, I guess. I don't know. It's the first name that came to me. But yeah. He does have a helmet also from Brick Warriors. That being the knight helmet. He does have this angry clone head, which he does have an alternate head, which I'll also take off the cape and the shoulder armor at the same time. 
I'm pretty sure I said something about not wanting to disassemble a whole bunch of figures, but here I am. He does have this kind of calm looking face. That also does feature a hairpiece from Obi-Wan from Nate's minifigs. It's meant to be from Obi-Wan, which you actually saw this on my Obi-Wan figure back when I originally made that uh, video. He does have a red dragon, like the red dragon emblem actually painted onto his shoulder armor. Not armor, just a shoulder. Because he does come from the same kingdom as my character. Well, my character doesn't come from that kingdom. He kind of moved to it and then moved to a different one. It's a whole thing. But yeah, he does also have this dark brown belt with this uh, olive green kind of skirt piece. So yeah. I like the way he looks. Nice little enemy group so far. And then the enemy counterpart to Gwen is this character. Also another elf. I kind of gave her this elegant looking armor from the Eternals. Because I kind of like to imagine the elves a little bit more elegant looking. With some of their looks. And then this Gwen, of course. I don't know. But yeah, I kind of like to imagine they usually just have this type of armor. And I like the way this looks. I don't have a name for her. So I'll probably just figure something out later. Just has a normal little shoulder armor piece. Arms and legs and torso are from that one Eternals character. It's the really fast one. I don't know who. Also, I'm taking a lot of breaths because I'm talking really fast. But she does have this hair piece from a Lord of the Rings character. And this face from Claire? From Jurassic World? I don't remember. Also, I don't know where this like hip skirt piece came from, but I don't know. It came from someone. Now let's get into the counterpart of Chuck, actually. Which, there's a whole joke behind this guy. He's not actually, like, a gnome. Neither is she a dwarf. He's just a really short human. Just he has beef with Chuck, I guess. I don't know. I just kind of found it funny. But he has this kind of, like, cheeky-looking look on his face, though. So, Also, this guy was also just made off a whim. I just kind of made him, because why not? A little bit of fun. Just kind of make some purest figures, but then... Then I decided to put him in a little enemy group, so woo! So, yeah. Uh, not much else to really say about this guy. He's just a purest figure. Loki face, Harry Potter hair, armor piece, then short legs. That, even though he's just a short human, he's not actually a dwarf. It's not classified as a dwarf, I guess. But here we actually have a fully custom figure, actually. It's Melvin. Some of you might know who he is if you follow me on Instagram, or if you just saw Russ's video on him. Or if you just saw literally my renders where I actually talk about him. You know, one of my live streams. But yeah. And this kind of comes back to the whole, like, right eye problem that I have. Where I just kind of like to mess up people's right eye for some reason. Because he has a little bit of a droopy eye in his right eye. That's not like a painting mistake. That is on purpose. He has just a droopy eye. <laughs> I don't know. He's also not meant to be smiling, Russ. He's kind of meant to be frowning a little bit. But yeah. He has these chainmail arms and this whole crusader-like outfit that is all damaged and all that. But he's not actually a human who turned into a tree person. He's just a tree person. <clears throat> I guess he just found the uh, outfit interesting and kind of got damaged over time. I don't know. This is what he looks like without it. Just kind of like a little wooden torso, which... Yeah, Russ did kind of point out a whole thing like... Where would the chainmail really go? I guess it would kind of like kind of go over his chest a little bit. I know, that's kind of like how I like to imagine it. I'll probably just do a quick little sketch of what that looks like. Something like this. But yeah. I like the way the head sculpt turned out. I, look, I think it looks really nice. But yeah. He does actually have a separate version, believe it or not. And this is and Melvin's meant to be like the counterpart to Orga. Hellspawn does not actually have a counterpart to <laughs> Hellspawn does not actually have a counterpart, because he's meant to be like kind of a later addition to the group, like the main group. But Orga does have a counterpart, which is Melvin, of course, which boom. Melvin is extremely bulky here. He's just this beast, I guess. But yeah, it's kinda of like an alternate form, I think he looks really nice. And Russ actually did a drawing of him, along with Hellspawn. So yeah. I like the way this guy looks. Uh, I kind of gave him lanky arms, because I kind of like to imagine that he kind of drags them behind. You know, something like a... Like this. Where, like, he's walking or running, where he just kind of drags them. Or something like that. I don't know. I just kind of like the lanky arms, because I think it makes him look a little bit more intimidating. But this head is actually from Big Warriors, believe it or not. I probably should have sculpted over the middle, though. I probably should have done that. But, I don't know. I still like the way he looks, and he's kind of more based off like the Steppenwolf build. Anyways, moving on to more characters, woo! Alright, so this next group will actually be a part of the Kingdom of the Red Dragon. Just kind of this whole group, I guess. The Kingdom of the Red Dragon group. So here is this guy. <clears throat> I don't have a name for him, but he's meant to be the king. But yeah, 
you actually might recognize him from this video where he was actually there originally but he has a complete redesign the head I think is still the same yeah it is same could be said for the helmet and I think even the thing on top of it but the shoulder armor and I think the cape and I'm not too sure but the shoulder armor and of course the rest of the body is actually completely different the arms are from Gamora from the CMF the Marvel CMF what if Gamora and his torso and legs are also from Thanos from the sanctuary set I think that's what that's called. And he has this little sword with a little dragon on the end, because dragon stuff, because that's cool. Mm. But yeah, I like the way he looks. Simple little pierced figure. Also, this shoulder armor is from, like, the dragon form of the Ninjago characters, just with the back cut off, because I did not like that back. I, I it, it was like the little pegs for, you know, the wings. Uh, a lot of these, char these characters won't have names, by the way. They're just kind of here, fill out the world. So here's this guy. I like the way he looks. He's got like some little gauntlets and all that. I guess these guys are kind of like fig barfs. I don't know. He uses legs from Jay. Torso from a Turtles character. I think it's like Icarus. Ninjago armor piece. A head from a Lord of the Rings character. Blue Knight's helmet. And of course this little feather on top. And of course a cape. I like the way he looks. Simple little pierced figure. These guys are going to be pierced except for like one of them were semi-pierced. Here's this character. I don't know who she is, or her name is, but she got like this kind of, I guess, war paint kind of look. I don't know, I kind of like to imagine it's like war paint. She also has like this little sword. She even has her arms exposed because she is just, I don't know, a beast in the war. I don't know. I just really like the way this design looks. And she, of course, has a little feather on her head. Because why not? Feathers always look better. I don't know if that's actually true. That's not, that's not true. Here's another random little character, someone who's not actually human. A demon-y kind of character. I don't know. He's just not human. He has four arms, which these arms have actually been around for a very long time. I just kind of threw them onto here to make them look a lot more cool. His helmet is from... I don't know who, actually. I don't know who made this helmet. So, yeah, I can't really say who. He does have a coal head and a bootleg um, war machine torso, just kind of for a little bit more detail and armor, which is not meant to be, like, mechanical or anything like that. It's just kind of meant to be armor. But yeah, he also does have these legs from Hidden Side. Not much else to say about this figure. Pretty simple. I'm trying to get through these guys as fast as possible, by the way. Oh yeah, I forgot to mention. Uh, this character, this little gold woman character. This is meant to be the king's wife. I don't know, I just kind of thought that'd be interesting. So here he is. Boom, next to his wife. Next to his woman. I don't know. <laughs> the head is also from Lord of the Rings. And the hairpiece is just a random hairpiece. The armor is from... Lo not Lloyd... It's from Wu, from the, like the Hunted Ninjago series of sets. And the torso is from What If Gamora, and the legs are from like an Atlantis guard from Aquaman, just with the hips replaced with, uh, I think, Gamora's legs from the What If series. Next up, we have this guy who's probably my favorite out of the group. He has like this little red dragon emblem, which of course is black, but still, I just like the it's the it's just the emblem to represent the red dragon, the kingdom of the red dragon. They have two emblems, but who cares? Uh, his whole body basically uses the Tin Man from the Lego Movie 2 line of CMF, where it's like the Tin Man from Wizard of Oz. He does have this little feather thing kind of sticking out of his head. His face is from Finn? From the Star Wars sets? I don't know. But he does have like this kind of little collar piece. He has this gray and red cape, and he has this sword that I kind of chromed out, which it's actually a sword from like this whole pack of bootleg swords or something like that. I don't think they're ripping off anyone. I don't know. It's just like a piece. It's just like a whole group that I found on AliExpress. I don't know. I like the way this guy looks. And then we have two little golden guards, actually. Just two little golden guards. As you can see, they look really nice. Use like bootleg Thanos armor. That I just, I bought two of them because I thought they looked cool. But yeah, I like the way they look. They use some Hero Factory helmets. Just painted in gold. Because I, I kind of thought they would look cool in this way. And they fit really well on the Thanos armor. So yeah. Just two little golden guards. Thought they'd be cool. And that's it for the um, Kingdom of the Red Dragon segment. So here's my dumbass having to go back and actually re <laughs> refilm something. This is one of the knights for the Kingdom of the Red Dragon. Uh, future me. Make sure to edit this part in. To the knight showcase. You know. The, 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 the Red Dragon showcase. The Red Dragon segment. Whatever. 
uh, torso from uh, what do you call it? Eternal's character. That the head looks like. Stay on there. Head looks like this. Cape is from Firestar Tories. Just a little fuzzy cape. I like the way it looks. But yeah. Next up, we have three little elves. And this is where the um. This is where Gwen's counterpart kind of comes in. Like this is her original group, but then she like became bad, I guess, and decided to join Nervala's group. So yeah. Whole story. Again, I could make a whole video about it if you really want to see that. But yeah, I might I might try that. Actually, you might provide like some visuals or something about it. But here we go. So the hairpiece is from a elf's character from Mini Dolls. I don't know I don't remember who it is. I, I don't I don't really remember. Okay. So this is meant to be just kind of like the leader of the little group. And she has like this little crown, I guess, to kind of represent that. And she does have the same torso and legs as the um, counterpart, the Gwen. Just of course with different hands. And, okay, look, my house is uncreative. <laughs> That's mainly because the original version of uh, Gwen's counterpart kind of had like a different torso that didn't really look all that elfish, I guess. Didn't really look all that cool and elegant. So yeah, she has the head from Valkyrie. And there's not much else to really say about her. Moving on, we have uh, uh, this character, I guess. I don't know. I like the way she looks, and I kind of like that it's a different color, the gray. And I really like the way it looks. I like the way it turned out. Another, you know, again, another hairpiece from Elves. Shoulder armor from, I think it was, I don't know who it was. I think it was from like a Chinese New Year set, but I know, I know, I think the shoulder armor piece was actually from like a Chinese New Year set. I just never got it. I just bought it off a of Bricklink. The hairpiece, I think, not the hairpiece, the face, I think it's from Captain Marvel, like the MCU one. I'm not too sure. I only say that because it has like this very serious alternate face. Or it could be from Shell from the Portal series. I don't know. But yeah, she does have these sand blue arms and just kind of these turquoise legs kind of match with the torso. And she also does have like this little sparkly skirt piece thingy. I don't know. I don't know what it would be called. There's one more elf. Where'd she go? Oh, there she is. This one isn't even an original design. I just found this off of Instagram and I thought it looked cool. So yeah. I forget who actually made it though, so that's a problem. Yeah. It just uses like the knight armor from that one blue haired not blue haired person, I think. I don't know, it was some random character from a CMF. So it just uses the arms, legs, and torso from her. With the shoulder armor piece from somewhere. I don't know. Uh the head is actually from Sylvie, from the Marvel CMF. And of course, Elves hair piece. So yeah, that's it for this little segment. Very short, but still. Moving on, we have an important character. We have Argon. And you might remember him from the original showcase. That's cool. Anyways, this is Argon. And he has a completely different redesign. Like, just very new. And this is actually based off of Rush, Russian Batman's drawing. And you'll see that for the alternate version. But he actually asked me, like, hey... Are there any other characters you'd like to see me draw for your little fantasy showcase thing? Or fantasy <laughs> group. And I sent him a picture of Argon. And I also said, well, if you also want to do an alternate version, I have this black version, which you'll see in a minute. And he did both. So yeah. He kind of has these crystals in the middle of his chest. Which I kind of like to imagine that humans in this world cannot actually harness, like, harness uh, magic in a natural sense. Like... They need stuff like these crystals to kind of give them the magical powers they require. So like with characters like elves, gnomes, and all that, they can all they are all naturally born with, you know, magic. Humans aren't. That's kind of how like how I like to imagine it. So they need these enchanted items. Hence why my character has like this little back armor that you saw earlier, and he do, he would have like some red gauntlets. I just don't. I just didn't make them sadly. But Argon does have a new face. As you can see, I think it looks really nice. Hairpiece from, it's like one of the Obi-Wan hairpieces from Nate's Minifigs. I'm going to go ahead and remove this cape. And boom, this is what he looks like with the helmet on. He has these crystals in the middle that give him certain powers. I don't know what each of them does, but I don't know, I can figure it out. But yeah, I like the way this figure turned out. I think the silver turned out really nice looking. And yeah, really nice looking figure. Moving on, we do have the alternate version of Argon. Where it is the black variant where he is super powered, I guess. Like, these crystals have basically, I don't know, give him, like, they've made him stronger, I guess. Russian Batman did do a version where the crystals did kind of look corrupted, I guess. Like, they kind of, 
they all turned red. But yeah, I didn't decide to do that because I kind of wanted them to stay this color. But I don't know. Maybe if like he's gone too far with the power, then maybe they become corrupted. I don't know. I didn't know what to give him like for the cape. So I gave him like this little red cape. This, I guess, kind of royal looking cape. I don't know. But this version of Argon actually does have a little bit more detail than the original. Which I did forget to mention that they both have helmets from Reinhardt from the Overwatch series. So yeah. But as you can see, this is what he looks like. A lot more detail with a lot more gray outlining and all that. And I think it looks a lot cooler than the original. Well, I think both of them look cool. I like the way both of them look. But yeah. That's kind of it for Argon. But he does actually have a daughter, believe it or not. Uh, Serena, or whatever. Yeah, I kind of like to imagine her name is Serena. I don't know how to spell it. <laughs> and this is just another purist figure. Uses an Exonite torso from the woman. I forget who it is. Uses a shoulder armor piece, I think from Ninjago. I don't remember. But then her face is... I don't know who it is. I know it's a Harry Potter character. I just don't remember who. But her... Uh, this little head right here is actually from Hermione. I remember that one now. And the hair piece is just a sculpted hair piece based off something else. But I like the way this figure turned out. I just like the way it looks. Anyways, let's move on to like just some miscellaneous figures. Next up we have... What do you call... Characters who are like, um, like there you have five kids all at once. I don't remember Qu quintuplets or something like that. I don't remember, but you might remember this guy because he was in the second showcase along with Gwen at the very end of it. So yeah, I don't have a name for him. I don't have a name for any of these characters. They're just meant to be important characters later on in the story. So I'll figure something out. But he, but all five of these characters are meant to be royal because they all meant to be related to each other. So yeah, here's this guy. He has a nice little helmet. Simple figure. He does have an alternate head where it is the head that you saw in the original showcase. Where it looks like this, where it's from it's from one of the characters from Infinity War, like the Infinity War sets. It's like one of the Black Order characters, I forget. Uh, I'm grabbing the alternate heads, by the way. Then we have this character. There's a little bit of hair on her. She's kind of meant to be like the one sister out of the group. And this guy is either meant to be like an assistant of some kind. Maybe it's her husband. I don't know. Maybe she's in the short dudes. I don't know. But yeah, that uh, I guess I can show him a little bit better. Yeah. Kind of meant to be just... I guess I guess her husband. I don't know. But yeah. Here's what she looks like. Some gauntlets and all that. Not too much. They're all meant to be like really tall looking. They all have their own unique weapons that are, are capable of killing a god. Which you'll see them in just a minute. But her alternate head looks like this. I don't feel like putting on the hairpiece. It's the same hairpiece that's on the helmet. But yeah. Next up, we got these two. Um, well, I okay. Well, these two are meant to be like the closest. Because they all kind of like got into an argument one day. And they all rule over separate kingdoms. But these two are the closest. These two brothers are the closest. So yeah, this guy's kind of meant to be a blue kind of variant, I guess. So yeah, a lot of blue pieces. And they all have like Black Panther heads. Except for like the red one and the white one they'll see later. But yeah. Um, do, do, do. And they all kind of meant to look, you know, non-human. I mean, I guess the only one that really looks human is the purple one. But yeah. That's what that alternate head looks like. Moving on, we have this guy. I forget... I don't know what any of these characters are called, by the way. I haven't decided names, but I still like the way all of them look. But yeah. Uh, let me take off the head, just so you can see the alternate head. I'm trying to make this as quick as possible, just so I'm not like... You know, spending too much time. But yeah. Then we have the final um, sibling. He has all the weapons that could kill the god. Because there is a god that would take place during this whole like event. And he has all the weapons. This is what all of them look like. Very special weapons. Able to put a god to sleep or are able to just straight up kill a god. Or just anyone who's immortal. So I guess Hellspawn for example. But yeah, I want to make some of the gods later. Or at least do concept for them. Show them. But here he is. He looks cool, I guess. He's kind of rushed. Because I was just kind of making him off a whim. And I didn't even paint the upper torso. Which is actually... The whole upper torso is supposed to be for like someone else. So yeah. There's a reason why that's not even painted. But yeah. I mean, this is... We're almost done, actually. 
All right, so we're gonna start off with a actually completely just non-pierced figure because a lot of these figures are going to be purest. Oh, sh here is the non-pierced figure, that being Grim. You remember? You might remember him from the renders. Of course, he is the one that in the renders took my character's arm. But here, he was just a random demon. I th I don't know what I would really do with him in the story. I'd probably give him like some kind of role later on, but for now, he is just a character who is here. And I decided to make him like in a physical form because I kind of wanted to, and I thought it looked cool. And hey, guess what? Russ also made a drawing of him, so that's cool. I gave him the sword from that same weapons pack I got off of AliExpress, and I think it looks a little bit more demony with all the spikes and all that. I think it looks cool. I couldn't make his like a little translucent form because that would just that would be way too difficult. And I don't think I'm that skilled at trying to like paint that stuff and the head would not turn out as good if you know, because I had to sculpt it, sculpt it. And I, it's a whole process, it's a whole reason. But yeah, I like the way he turned out. I think he looks cool. Moving on, we have this random little dragon character. Boom, look at him. He's just kind of like this dragon warrior who kind of goes wandering around, I guess. So he's just kind of there. I think he looks really nice. And, you know, he's just, he's just a simple little figure. Just thought I'd show him off, I guess. This guy has some importance, though. This guy is kind of meant to be like a messenger for the gods. Like the gods and goddesses and whatever. So he's kind of like meant to hear, like be here. He's kind of meant to be like, hey, I have a message from the gods or something like that. I don't know. But I do kind of want to like do the gods at some point. I want to make their designs because that would be difficult because they are meant to be massive. But yeah, he's just kind of meant to be a messenger for the gods. And this helmet does come from Nexo Knights. The, ar uh, the armor is actually from Brick Warriors. And the legs, I'm pretty sure the, in uh, the legs are from Ultron. A little bit more detail, I guess. Just uh, like a little Ultron drone, I think. And he does have these little lightning eyes below it. But yeah, not much else to say about this guy. Besides, like, just his role is supposed to be important. Like, in a later story. He was just a random little witch lady. Again, kind of fill out the world. She's kind of cool looking. I like the way she looks. Oh, God! I just shot out my hand. Yeah, like the way she looks. Here's a random little creature that you might find in the world. A little bat person. I painted this guy randomly one day. I like the way he looks. It's just the head that's painted. And then a little spider person. Look at that. Ooh, this is crazy. Look at them eyes. Ooh. Yeah, I like the way this looks. A little spider. But that is it for the night showcase. This this whole showcase has been building up for so long now. And I'm honestly so glad I finally re-recorded it. Or just recorded it. I had to re-record it several times. I forgot to mention that Melvin has his hand. Alternate hand. But yeah, that is it. I will make more videos about these guys and kind of explaining the world, I guess. So if you do want to see that, then please tell me in the comments. If you do want to hear like the lore to all of this, then please tell me. Because it would be greatly appreciated if you all kind of just like, you know, I guess support the idea of all this. Because again, this took a long time to make and I'm very passionate about these characters. I do want to do something with these characters one day, but for now, they shall remain as just characters on my channel. So yeah, I hope you all really enjoyed this showcase. I certainly did. I didn't I didn't enjoy having to re-record it multiple times, but yeah. That's about it. See ya.